Hello and welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. This is the right place for you to learn all the chapters of UiPath. So please subscribe to UiPath Expo Hub. Myself Rakesh. Today in this chapter, we are going to learn how to connect robot to orchestrator. Okay, this is very critical activity and we need to understand. Before we get started, we need to understand what is that robot and where does that exist, right? So once you install UiPath on your machine, on the taskbar, you would find, you know, the UI robot would be running. So this is UiPath robot. Okay. So this robot is kind of an agent which helps you to run a workflow. So what we do, once we create a workflow in UiPath Studio, we have the option to upload that to Orchestrator Cloud. And from the Orchestrator Cloud, I can, you know, push it to or configure different robots on which I can run that workflow. Okay, so we will see that we'll get into that complex uh, complexity slightly um, after this chapters. But again, let's understand how to connect robot to orchestrator. So this is your robot. Okay, now orchestrator. So how do you log into orchestrator? For that, you have to type platform.uipath.com. This is the very first step. Open plat platform.uipath.com, and then it will ask you to sign in with your account. If you have a Gmail account, if not, you can sign up. All right. So once you log in, uh, generally, I have, I have I have been seeing they have been changing this particular site time and again. They are upgrading it. So right now, if you see, uh, currently it is available in admin. So you have to click on admin, and this is where you will find something called add service. Okay. Initially, it was there directly on the home page right now they have created sections so it is right right now available under admin okay so the very first thing we need to understand what is a service so service is nothing but uh, in a company you have your it department you have admin department you have hr department right so the concept behind this is you go ahead and create for each department you create a service for example i wanted to deploy bots for the HR department. So I'll be creating a service for HR department. So that can consist of n number of bots, n number of workflows that you want to run for HR department or you want to run a bot for IT department or finance department. So for each department, you will be creating a service. So right now, as we are in the community edition, it won't allow you more than one. Okay, you can only create one service. Okay, so you understood the concept of service. What is a service? So in simple terms, I would say service is nothing but for each department or for each organizational unit, you will be creating a service. So to start with what I'm going to do, I'll create a service. Uh, so here, if you see the moment you click on service, uh, you have unattended runtime one available. So I will simply say one. So this is what available with uh, community edition and for attended we have got two so whatever it's maximum available i'm just selecting that and i'll click on add okay after this it's going to you have to give a name so uh, let, let me create it for let's say hr department or finance department or admin department anything you like okay let me create it for admin department okay so admin department i am creating a service click on add okay now you see service provisioning is in progress so it'll take a little bit of time so refresh it and now it will be enabled so you have created a service for the admin department so right now what you do you need to click on this hyperlink and this would take you to the orchestrator page for admin services so if you see the url on the top it has got admin so as many services you'll be creating so everything will have a different kind of a url clear okay once you come over here the very first thing you have to do is you have to scroll down and click on machines okay and here you what you do click on the plus sign and you get three different uh, two different templates we'll be creating for standard machine right so click on standard machine and here you have to give the name the machine name has to be exact match to the name of the workstation so in this example this is only my workstation so what i will do i'll open the uipath robot so this is my uipath robot 
and here you need to click on settings and click on orchestrator settings clear so once you go to orchestrator settings here on the top you have the machine name so just you have to copy it from your system and go ahead and paste it clear and then here it has a license under 00 so leave it as it is don't have to do anything simply click on provision so once you provision this so you can see the machine has been added okay so once the machine is added what is the next step so the next step for you would be going to robots okay robots uh, in modern folders are managed from management users so here if you see um, there is no ro robots till created right there is nothing has been created so how do you do that okay so, so view robots there are no robots at this at the moment okay now to create robots okay select the uh, default folder in case that is selected shade and then you will find the plus sign here so click on the plus sign and here you need to click on the standard robot done and here it will ask you to select the machine name so here uh, for this machine is Rakesh so I am selecting the machine name and here it's asking uh, the name of the robot so you can give robot 1 robot 2 anything you like so I will give robot 1 okay you can give a description robot running on Rakesh machine some description you can give to identify that and here the type is very 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 critical okay uh, here you would select unattended robot or attended ro robot do not go for studio studio pro studio uh, non-production um, for for your demo purpose for learning purpose you go with unattended or attended so I'll go with unattended robot at this moment and then here it is asking me for the domain and username so how do you get the domain and username open command prompt and simply type who am I you can see on my screen who am I if you type this is your domain name okay to select that right click click on select all and then you can get an option to highlight that copy it go back and paste your domain and username okay so it did not copy so let me type it manually Rakesh the user and compare it okay this should not be this should be exactly the same way so RAK Rakesh backslash user okay so this is how it's supposed to be and then uh, it is asking for the password so remember the password is uh, the password is not mandatory because I am selecting unattended robot that means there will be no human while the bot is running that is where it might require password so if you are selecting attended unattended it's best to give the your laptop password how you log into windows right that particular password you have to enter here so I am entering my windows password and click on create so you don't have to worry about settings there is nothing much you have to as you are starting you are learning so you don't have to do anything with this so leave as it is and click on create so the moment you do this so what is happening robot one got created okay so you can create uh, as many as robots you want but remember one machine has got only one robot so one client will have only one robot you cannot have two three robots in one machine you have got only one robot that is what you need to configure here okay so I have configured that one over here robot one after this if you see it is still disconnected it is not connected so how do I connect it so to connect that what you have to do so when I say robot robot is nothing but this one okay this is called robot this uh, UI uh, path assistant this is the agent or the robot this is what we term it as robot okay now when I go over here I have to connect this robot to orchestrator so this is the key part that one is to learn so what you do um, the orchestrator portal that you have right um, if you see uh, your orchestrator portal right in the orchestrator portal if you uh, let me go to the home page okay so this is your orchestrator portal so I what I will do I'll simply copy this and you can paste it over here but what you do keep it until your admin till your service you need to keep rest of the thing you need to erase it okay so till your service so my service name was admin so I'm keeping until admin that's all okay simple 
okay i have kept until i copied the entire url removed everything after the service name so my service name i have given is admin i have removed everything up you know after that so and you can give a backslash not mandatory better to have it a backslash okay done so this is my url and after that it is asking me for the machine key so for the machine key what you do go back to orchestrator once again and here you need to go to your machines so this is your machine select this and here you have this icon copy machine key to clipboard so copy this and go over here and paste it okay sometimes after pasting the machine key when you click on connect it may not connect so what you do close it and try to redo it okay so right now you can see it is connected and licensed okay this is what the objective of this topic and if you go to robots now in the orchestrator page you can see it got a tick mark green tick mark and it is saying available it's connected now okay so this is our first chapter very simple one and this is very critical one to start this is our chapter one i am going to come up and going to explain each and everything that is there here in orchestrator uh, page in this platform everything i am going to explain there are a lot many things to learn in ui path orchestrator so please stay connected in case you have not subscribed please do subscribe to the channel please do like all the videos share with your friends who want to learn ui path uh, please do comment what you felt about the video and finally subscribe and thanks for watching this have a wonderful day bye bye